A few days ago, my new friend Ellen offered to drive me to Chimayo or Chimacho, if you are from my country. Uh, and at first I thought, yeah, why not? It's a, probably a beautiful um, colonial church and uh, it would be nice to see it. It was so much more than just nice. The park around the buildings is just gorgeous with beautiful trees. There is a river that runs very uh, strong, <laughs> very potent around the property. Uh, and of course, the vegetation is favored because, I mean, there's humidity there. And uh, so I tied Lua to a tree and Ellen stayed there with her puppies. So I went in and I was filming as I walked. And the minute I go into the chapel, the mass was starting. And uh, the very minute I walked in, the priest was welcoming the people to the Mass, and I felt it. I felt it so deeply because I was raised in a nun's school, 14 years of that. My sister wanted to become a nun. It gets in your system, you know. But then I lost my trust in the Church for several, many different reasons many of which you probably know. And, uh, but it was so beautiful to hear the familiar words. It, it, I felt it in my soul. It was really beautiful. So I don't know how that works. If it is brainwashing for 14 years, or you really feel a connection with something, it was very beautiful to be there. And then, of course, immediately I saw the sign that said no photos or film. So I <laughs> put the camera down. Uh, but it was fantastic. The feeling was amazing. And I visited their visitor center, which is like a museum. It's so rich in so many beautiful pieces. Uh, amazing. I learned the story of the other church that is a little behind that one where uh, there was a miracle and a little boy uh, fed a whole mass of people. So uh, they believe it was baby Jesus. So everybody brings teeny little shoes to leave there as a present uh, to baby Jesus. So. I, there is another part where you can go and take a little bit of dust or you know, dirt from the, the foundation of the church to take it with you for protection or to, I don't know, for the things people take, uh, such a thing that they, they feel it's sacred. So, and there, there are a lot of crutches that people left when they got cured. There are thousands of photos everywhere of all the people who promised something and got it. And the most interesting thing I didn't know about that, there is a pilgrimage every year on Easter, on Thursday, there are some people walking from Las Cruces all the way up here, and many of them carry wooden crosses with them. And then they leave them by the church. And I saw them, and there were many.
mention for Tony Paul's Adela and uh, Well Gadillo by the Dam. So we know our intentions, our prayers, especially for those who ask us to pray for, uh, those who are so sick today, <coughs> going through surgeries, know that they let us uh, offer our best also for them. Let us begin.
So I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. Share with someone that doesn't know they can replicate the Camino de Santiago, sorta kinda, here in Chimayo. Uh, by going to the Chimayo church, carrying a cross, to get something, some miracle granted, or something like that. So it was impressive, it was beautiful, and uh, yeah, New Mexico has amazing th stories to tell. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful day.